Hello, friends. Welcome to AI Flux. Um, if I sound weird, it's because I had the flu all of last week and slept for four days straight. So please forgive the lack of videos um, and the fact that I sound um, slightly less dead. So um, I also made a bit of a goof with this. So in my previous video on the RTX 4090, um, an RTX 4090, which I have actually received in hand now and have already had to RMA, which if you want to speculate why that is, uh, leave a comment below. So um, yeah, in that video, I said, you know, my general recommendation is if you have some money to throw at a cool bit of hardware you're going to use for generating your AI waifus, um, was to wait for the announcement or release of the next enterprise GPU, which NVIDIA doesn't call Quadra anymore, and the, the naming just gets confusing. So uh, the goof here is that uh, NVIDIA actually announced this, and by an, an announced but not release, uh, at GDC, or at GTC 2022, about a month ago to the date. And um, yeah, they're calling it the RTX 6000. Um, so it, it looks like this one, but that's, as you can see, it's the A6000. Um, it's not this one, which is from 2018 called the RTX 6000, but it's got some chrome, so it looks cool and fast. Um, no, but it's this one. So it, it looks the same as the RTX A6000, but it's got an Ada Lovelace GPU and um, twice the amount of RAM as the 4090, but otherwise pretty similar to the RTX A6000 um, in form factor, TDP, and size. So um, yeah, why, why talk about this? Why, why am I maybe gonna buy this if my 4090 um, is just a lost cause and I roll whatever I threw at the wall money-wise there and into this? Uh, so first off, you're getting twice the amount of memory for about three times the amount of dollars. So we, we don't know what this is going to cost yet. The launch price for the RTX A6000 about two years ago was still high. So it was about, yeah, it was $4,700 at launch. And then uh, back in the day when the A6000 was launched, uh, there were still plenty of mining degenerates like myself who were willing to pay well above $2,000 more um, or just well $2,000 more than MSRP. So if you wanted an A6000 on launch date, you were paying you know, $6,500. And I think we can probably guess, that since this is the flagship Ada Lovelace um, Quadro, or just their enterprise GPU, that it's probably going to be maybe a little bit more expensive than that. So let's just say 8000 at launch. So yeah, so you're paying uh, you know, three to four times as much for twice the RAM, but it's ECC RAM. Uh, it's a card you can power with your current power supply, um, even if the cables that are supplied with it are, you know, even if they're, it's cable to cable, uh, as you saw in the 4090 video. Uh, I had my own experience with uh, six dual six pin to eight pin adapters from PNY. And um, yeah, I, so I think there are benefits here. So I have two A5000s, or a group of A5000s, as a lot of you know, and uh, they're really great. Like they, chug along uh, in a lot of ways that my 3090s do not. Um, I have to restart fewer times. Uh, having a boatload of RAM, uh, even when you're not just generating AI waifus, really comes in handy. And uh, yeah, it comes in handy when your GPU doesn't have Quadro printed on the front with Chrome. So wh why, so who's buying this? So it's mostly professionals. Um, they also released a version of this called the L40, which is kind of similar to the A40, but it, 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 in essence, it's just a metal block cooler version of this card that's meant to go into a server. So the whole idea is, you know, go grab eight of these, shove them into a server, and then you, you can use the goofy NVIDIA Omniverse tool that they also released at GTC. Um, you know, the, the display output is pretty similar to a 4090. Um, the big difference here is you're, you have twice the RAM. It's ECC RAM. Um, curiously, what we don't know yet is what the raw, like full memory bandwidth is. I mean, obviously we know the, the, the width of the bus, so it's 34 bit. Uh, we know that it's 48 gigs of ECC DDR6 um, with a much more 
emboldened uh, Invenc and uh, Invi deck. So 3x3 three three AV1 capable, which is cool. Um, and then the real input here, or the real like iteration here, right, with AD Lovelace is you, know, you have effectively uh, almost twice the number of CUDA cores, tensor cores, and RT cores, which is cool. Um, I think, you know, the, the curious thing to see with this is how far differentiated um, FP32 um, just performance and accuracy is relative to the 4090 because that was something left clearly capable in the 4090 um, that I think a lot of people weren't expecting. I think the benefit with these is if you have one case, you can actually fit one of them, albeit two or three of them in one case. And if you've used an A6000 prior, um, it's pretty much a plug and play upgrade. You get basically twice the performance, same uh, NV link capability. And uh, yeah, you're not gonna have thermal or physical issues shoving this thing into your case. Um, my 4090 did not fit in my case. And uh, I have a really huge fractal design case. So yeah, interesting enough. Um, what I think is interesting is a lot of the marketing around this NVIDIA has put out has been this extended reality stuff. Um, so they're really pushing kind of like content creation VR folks with this card. And um, CUDA, RTX, and DXR, um, like a lot of this doesn't really have much to do with what would help you with stable diffusion. Um, if you if you've run stable diffusion on, on like a card with more than 24 gigs of RAM, you know that they're you, you start to see diminishing returns. Um, but what's cool is if you pipeline or start doing a lot of batch renders, uh, you see pretty huge performance gains, and you see them in a way, um, yeah, that's pretty, like you know, you're, you're saving two to four x the time you would be spending otherwise waiting around. And if you're, if you don't have to wait around, that's great. Uh, but yeah, if you're doing more experimental things, or if you want to do a lot of kind of video stuff, uh, these can be pretty cool cards to play around, with. especially if you have so if you have access to software, um, like really high high caliber graphics software. Uh, this these like churn through what GeForce cards couldn't dream of doing. So so yeah. Um, Kind of a quick video. I wanted to get this in because at this point, I, you know, I'd been thinking about this, and I, and while I was unable to like do anything last week, uh, this was something I wanted to kind of get out there. Uh, curious what your thoughts are. Uh, another funny thing, uh, and there was a little bit of this video earlier in the, in, in my video, um, but Nvidia they've been releasing more Quadro content, so basically things you can do with their latest generation of high-end cards. And ironically, um, they've, they've made videos less than two weeks ago, so well after GTC has announced this, uh, and they've only been with the A6000. They actually haven't been with the RTX 6000, which is their newest card. Uh, and I've actually talked to a number of other people in industry who are actually buying these or are placing purchase orders for these well ahead of the official release. And um, there are supposedly OEMs who have accidentally sourced the 2018 version of this for like $100,000 plus orders of these cards, which if you work in the industry, that's actually not a huge order. But um, yeah, it would be really disappointing if someone, if they said, yeah, we can get those two right away. And then you were procured hardware from nearly four years ago. But, uh, and in that video um, that I mentioned, Please ignore the $200 RGB sound card that NVIDIA, for some reason, thought they should include in that. Um, leave a comment if you have a $200 RGB sound card in 2022. But uh, nonetheless, I'm going to put out a few more videos in the next few days uh, that hopefully you guys will like. And uh, glad to be back. Thank you for subscribing if you subscribed in uh, or during my hiatus. And yeah, hope you learned something as always. Let us know if you'd like us to change something. And let us know if your 4090 has also had a goof of some kind.